Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, today's video is not going to be about Dark Souls. So I haven't really been playing much Dark Souls recently. I haven't really been playing many computer games recently. I haven't really wanted too much, but also all of the free time I've had for gaming has gone into the game you can see in front of you, which is Android Netrunner. This is an amazing game. And I have some friends that are looking to get started. So I'm making this video tutorial for them and for anyone else out there who wants to understand how they can start playing Android Netrunner online for free. This video is not gonna talk about how to play the game, um, the mechanics of the game, etc. If you wanna learn more about the rules of the game and how you can play it, uh, go online, look at uh, YouTube. The Fancy Flight Games video tutorial on Android Netrunner is really good. It's um, quite short, it's, it's an overview, but it will give you an idea of the flavor of the game and how it plays. Uh, if you want more information, Team Covenant have a very good video series. There's a lot of videos, and they released um, these Learning Netrunner videos last year when the revised core came out. These videos go into a lot of depth, they talk about all the mechanics, and the, the Team Covenant guys are great, so this is a great way to learn the game. Additionally, uh, the game is no longer maintained by Fantasy Flight Games. It's maintained by a group called Nisei. So this is their website, nisei.net. And on there you can find, uh, let me just show you the link, this uh, comprehensive rules version. So if you click this, it's a PDF of all of the rules of the game. It is not short, um, <laughs> but it's there if you want it. I would probably recommend using the videos. So. How do we play uh, Netrunner online? You're gonna need two websites. So the first one is going to be Jinteki.net. Jinteki.net is where you are gonna uh, play the games. You can observe other people's games. You can build your decks. You can browse through all of the cards. Um, you can chat, although people don't use the chat much. Um, and you can set up your account, etc. So to start, you wanna to go to sign up and stick in your email, your username, and uh, the password that you want, and it will create an account for you. Once you set your username, you can't change it. So uh, make sure that you are happy with your username, uh, otherwise you'll just need to create a whole new account. So once you've signed up, just go to login, put in your details, click the login button, and you'll be logged into the website. From here, one of the best things you can do when you start is if you click play, go to all of the um, games that are available. So there's two lobbies, there's the casual lobby and the competitive lobby. Most of the time you'll be in the casual and you can click watch and then you can just watch anyone's game. So this will show you, uh, this little splash screen shows you some information about the IDs. It comes with a cute little quote and it shows if the players took a mulligan or not. Just close that and then you can see what the players are doing in the game. If you hover over any face up card, it will tell you in the top right, um, it will give you a, a kind of blurb of the card so you can read it. And you can do things like click the archives or click the heap uh, to see what cards are in players' discards pile, etc. Players can also choose to share their hand information. They don't often do this, um, but that's possible. So you may also be able to see the um, information, uh, the cards that the players have in their hands. and. There's a chat log here so that you can see what everyone's doing. So when this guy installed his Reaver, you can see here, he spent a click and two credits to install Reaver, et cetera, et cetera. So now you've got your account, the first thing you're gonna need to do is build your decks. And you'll probably wanna go over to Deck Builder and then you'll think, right, I'll go and build a new runner deck and then you need to somehow find all the cards. This is a terrible way to build your deck. What you wanna do is go over to Netrunner DB. So Netrunner DB is a repository of uh, all of the cards in the game. So you can click a pack and then you can see a card, um, find out about the card, see any rules entries, see reviews for the card, etc. cetera. Um, but the best thing is the deck builder. So let's get started. You're gonna want to uh, log in or register. So if you don't have an account, go to register, put in your details, click register, and then you'll have an account. Once you've got that, put in your username and password, click login, and you're onto the site. So there's popular decks will be on the, um, popular recent decks, there's a deck list of the week every week, and then uh, popular recent decks are here. 
If you want to see more deck lists, just click the deck list button. It will show you the popular ones, but you can also do a search and search for specific decks or um, look at the Hall of Fame, etc. Um, but we want to make some decks, so this is how we're going to start. So if you go to my decks, when you start, I think this will be empty. Um, and you want to build all your decks in here. So if you're going to, uh, let's start by importing a deck. So if I go over to the deck list of the week, I can see that um, the current deck list of the week is Ozan's uh, diaper deck. So if I click this, it's going to take me through to the deck. And under actions, I have the ability to export. So if I go to jinteki.net format, I get this pop up and I can select and copy. Then if I go over to Jinteki and I click new runner deck, I can call this uh, whatever I want to call it. I copy and paste the, the card list in here and they automatically populate over here. Then I just need to um, pick the runner. So this is uh, Nasir and I pick the standard. So the wider competitive card ball is called standard. So you're probably going to want to do that. Or if you want to start um, with just the smaller card pool to get used to it, you can use core experience, but this is a standard deck. So you select that, then we click save, and then the deck will appear here, and now I can play it. So if I go to play, I can set up a game, or I could join someone else's game if there was a game with a free slot. But if I go to new game over here, I choose which side I want. So I've just made a runner deck. Uh, if I'm playing with a friend, I might want to password protect my game. Okay. And then only someone with a password can join. Uh, if you want to leave the game open, but you want, you're making the game for someone, normally you would just type, uh, for, uh, CC and then your CC, whoever it is, uh, can come and join the game. Other players can still join, but they know that this game is for someone. Then click create, and then you can select your deck. The deck that you just made will pop up in your list. You click it and you're good to go. So then once your opponent joins, they pick their deck and you can just click start and you're off. So that shows you how to uh, export decks which already exist. So you just go to the actions button, but what if you want to make your own deck? So if you go over to my decks, um, then we can click a new runner deck. We select our runner. And then from here, you can add all the cards into the deck that you want. So if I click three copies of freelance coding, it will add three copies of freelance coding to my deck, and then it will update the information about the deck here. One of the most important things to do when you start is if you are not going to play the whole card pool, you want to go over to collection and you want to tick all of the cards that you're looking to play with. So I don't think there is an tick or untick all, unfortunately. But if you want to start small, you might just want to play with um, a single system core. Uh, so you, if you just want to play system core, untick everything, and then you can just play tick this box alone, and then it will only show you the uh, system core card. So let's just do that quickly. So untick all of these. Then if I go back to build, it's now limited the card pool that's available to me to only cards from the system core set. And uh, the system core is um, a uh, logical grouping of cards. It's like a box, like if you went into the shop and you bought the system core, it would come with these cards. And it's just a, a good way to get started in the game. So you can play what's called system core only or under um, Jinteki, it's called core experience. Um, and this means that you will only allow cards from that single box because the card ball can be quite daunting when you start. The next thing is under settings, you can choose how many core sets you're using. So how many copies of the system core do you want to use? Because there are some cards which are only um, one ofs. So if you're playing single system core, you might want to select use one core set. Then if I go back over to build, you can see that I've only got one copy of Notoriety available to me and one copy of Test Run. So in general, this isn't super important, but you want to make sure that if you are playing a restricted card pool, uh, you set this up first. And then when you go to build, it will only show you the cards that you want. So uh, I can click um, all the different factions over here and then all the card types. And this acts as a kind of inclusive filter. So let's say I just want criminal hardware. I've got hardware and criminal, and it shows me that I can install Paragon or, HQ, or add Paragon or HQ interface to my deck. And it shows your influence here, et cetera, et cetera. Once you've done this deck, uh, you can name it. So we'll just call it 
uh, my deck to, and then I click save. Now this is an illegal deck, which is why it's showing me this. But if I want to then put that deck into um, Jinteki, I can click this here. Then I've got a Jinteki.net format button. I just uh, copy, go over to Jinteki, go to my deck builder. If I can make a new deck uh, or I can edit. So if I just edit this one, paste this in, and you can see it will then move this over and then I click save. So in summary, you want to build your decks in Netrunner DB, and then you want to import them into Jinteki, use the deck builder tab to make them, and then you can play your games over here. Final note is if you go to settings, you can control uh, the settings for your account. So you can set your uh, background for when you play the game. You can adjust the volume, uh, which is really important because it can sometimes be really loud. And um, uh, you can see that your avatar is kind of linked to your gravatar. Um, so that's how you can set your picture. Uh, you can turn the sounds on and off. And the key thing is, once you're done, go down to up, uh, update profile and click the update profile button. Otherwise, it will not save the changes. And mostly this is volume because the, the game volume is really loud by default. Okay, I hope that's helped. Uh, that's everything. If you have any questions, post them below and uh, maybe I can see you online on shinteki.net and we can play some games.